it's 9 30 in the morning and i am sitting in a really old traditional wooden coffee shop you can see behind me all the bare wood all the old style this is a hundred plus years old and i am drinking coffee but when i spin the camera around you will see i am actually right on the banks of a canal and in fact this is the confluence of three canals and this is huatake community and market on the banks of a klong in lacrabang not far from the city in fact really close to savannapum airport and i'll tell you a little bit more about the location in a minute but i wanted to show you this because one it is actually not very far from my house i live about seven or eight kilometers away but this is really an undiscovered gem in bangkok this is an old traditional community built in the reign of king rama V, and it's all wooden townhouses and a covered walkway along you can see by this lady rowing a really old narrow boat through all those water plants life is slow here it's like time has stopped still it hasn't changed here in a hundred years and i absolutely love that this is the authentic experience and there have been attempts to put this on the tourist trail to promote it to market it but it's stubbornly stayed the same since i have lived in Bangkok around about 10 years and it is still completely the authentic experience so that's really why I want to show you this today if you've got a few hours to spare and you're in the area this is a nice place to come it's great for taking photos the food's great here the coffee's great you can make up your own mind I'm going to take you for a walk around and show you it I'm just going to rewind to the start and take you from the car park where I parked up into the place. So let's start off. You go straight to the footbridge over the Klong, but I'm just coming to the car park, so I'm about 20, 30 meters further up. And here, there's a gap. One of the buildings has been knocked out inside to create a walkway through onto the banks of the Klong, the canal. And you can see here, the whole side of the wall has been done into a big mural. Looks really, really cool. And there's quite a few murals here, and that's something very popular in Thailand now. And you can see right opposite me now, the community. That's the main side. This side, there's a few buildings. There's not a lot going on here, but mainly this is like a fresh market. Now this community, it's very much also about motorbikes and bicycles coming through. And as you can see, there's a guy coming down on a bicycle. And here is the guy coming up on a motorbike. Perfect timing. So you can see the footbridge. It's got steps on either side and it's got a walkway in the middle for motorbikes and bicycles to go up to get into this community. It's very narrow, like all these old communities in Thailand. They're really squashed in and you'll see quite a few bikes and bicycles going through. Get on top of the bridge. Here we got the sign for Hoa Take Market. And you can see we've got Klongs either way. We've got a motorcycle taxi coming up, which is just adding to my point. And again, this side to take us into the market, we've got the same kind of steps and pathway for the motorbikes. And then get out of the sun because the sun is burning hot today as ever. Now, we are in the market. So we come off the bridge and you can go right or left. Now left, there's not a lot going down there. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things down there, throw them in, in a minute. But I'm gonna show you on the right here. And the first thing we have is a coffee shop. This food seller is selling pig. And that is a big piece of animal. Here we have a really old convenience store. It actually looks like now you can get rides on boats up and down the Klongs. Now we have another restaurant and here we have another art shop. And this is very much about art spaces here. And that gives it a great vibe and a great vibrancy. And you can see here, if I can just sneak in, the artist's table covered in paint, covered in brushes and everything. And round here, and you can see all the work he is doing. And out here, 
He's got things that he's selling. And I think you can also do your own painting by the look of it. But a lot of this is in Thai. They're not expecting a lot of foreign customers here. Here we have an old lady at her machine and she is making clothes. And you can see very traditional style dresses she's making. Here we have a machine shop with a lathe that looks incredibly old. And right on the other side, we have a food shop as well, all in one. You blend machining with food and that's Thailand. Then we have another shop. This looks like a noodle shop. And then here actually we have a really good map which tells us what's going on. So basically this is Lakrabang Road coming down here. I've driven down here, round here, into the market. And then I walk through these buildings here, along the front here, over the bridge, down here and I'm somewhere about here. But if you come through the market you can just walk straight down and onto the bridge. And you can see the community laid out here. Now we have a framing shop and man that is really deep and there are so many frames in there that you can come here and you get your pictures framed again this whole art concept and then there is a barber shop so you can have a trim here as well this is probably the most modern shop in the village and this is selling handmade jewelry and here we have a community open space and here we have a toy shop on this side and snacks and sweets and trinkets that kind of thing then we have a dessert traditional Thai dessert here and here we have a lady doing something with eggs we have another traditional Thai food cafe here and you can see here all the meat and all the spices and herbs lined up and I just love all this old wood this is so authentic it is unbelievable and we have another one grilled bananas and here they are grilling sausages and then I'm back to where I started from so the coffee is good in here I'm trying one or two other things here we have got strawberry yogurt homemade which is really cold tastes great then for my Western values got french fries and I really love this like old traditional food pot that it's been served in. These are like, you'll have seen them, they're stacked up into like food pots together to be transported around. And they put the French fries in it, that is perfect. Now, I don't even know what the name of this shop is because to be honest, most of these places in here are really original style. So I'm just gonna show you, it is right at the end. When you come over the bridge, as I showed you before, you turn right, it is right at the end, it's straight. And then there's like a dog leg where it goes round and that's pretty much the end of the village. So who should come here? Now to be honest my first recommendation is we're quite a long way out of the city, I'll show you that in a minute. But if you're at Svanapum airport and you've got a few hours to kill then this is a great place to come. And as I can show you on the GPS here we are actually 7.7 .7 kilometers from the airport. 16 minutes with the traffic at the moment. Traffic is always busy around here, up and down Lakrabang Road, but it's very easy to come. So you can easily get a grab from the airport. So just to get you in the picture here, this is Sukhumvit 77 Lakrabang Road, goes right down to Sukhumvit Road. If you're coming up Lakrabang Road from here and there, there's Rotsong Tau, go up and down the road, but they don't do the full road, they're doing shorter distances. So you can get Rotsong Tau down here, but you're not gonna be coming for more than say five or six kilometers before you have to change. But now, to be honest, in Thailand, grab is so easy, so convenient, and also you don't get scammed or anything like that with it, that it's just very convenient to get anywhere from grab. But like I say, the main thing I would say, if you're coming here, you're coming from the airport, it's really ideal to do if you're near the airport, you've got a few hours to spare and you really want an authentic feel. It's a long straight path up the community. Then you get to the end and the pathway jinks left and right. And that's right where this coffee shop is where I've stopped at. And then we are pretty much right at the end. And now we've got the pathway is raised and it's going out onto the Klong, but we've still got buildings on either side. What's interesting, right on the end, just past the coffee shop I went to, 
just before you go up the steps onto the footbridge over the Klong, there's a cafe and guest house. So you can actually come and you can stay here. And what I like again is there's a lot of information put up around here. And this, it tells me, is a former convenience store which has been turned into a restaurant and then a cafe and a guest house all preserved and in fact it won an outstanding architecture award in 2016 and we just stick our head in here you can see that is absolutely amazingly authentically original so I'm just gonna walk back down here because I ordered more coffee and hopefully that has arrived by now hot coffee in Thailand it's really hit and miss. Everyone here drinks cold coffee. And it's a lot more work to make hot coffee. And half the time it's warm, not hot. But this coffee is absolutely bang on. And really, you wouldn't expect that in a place like this. We're not quite stuck in a century ago. Free Wi-Fi. This boat here that doesn't look like it's been used for a long time has some kind of harpoon gun on it. So they've actually been like harpoon spearing fish when this boat was in use. So I'm heading out of here. I'm leaving the market behind. I'm leaving the Klongs behind. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at a very authentic place. You only need an hour, two hours maybe at the most here if you're going to stop and you're going to eat or you're going to have coffee. Interesting place though, and if you've got time, add this onto your list. Pua is head take. Could be something to do with crocodile, but changed a lot. But the story is, when they built these three klongs a hundred years ago, or more than a hundred years ago, they found a crocodile's head. There's a really cool mural on the side of this building just before the bridge or just after in my case as I am leaving now. A food that is being made on an industrial scale almost here. Look at all those baskets. It's mooncakes and this sign here tells me that there are two shops still making mooncakes through traditional recipes in Hoa Take. So we're kind of on the side of the main market here. You can see it behind me and you can see the back here of Hoa Take along the river and you can see more really traditional wooden buildings. Cop and cab.